specifically how he actually manages to open Zane up. Yeah, we're getting right into the game right here. Yep. All right. There there it is. Yeah, look, look at that. The way he goes for a forward tilt on the can specifically to hit that Kirby. And, oh, my God, that was beautiful. Neutral air making sure that the gunman hit actually connects and managing to get even more damage off of it. Whoa. Yeah, I want to point out, Zane Whoa. got second last week. Thank you. Zane got second last week. And, oh, oh he's looking God. to get first. They, they are absolutely looking to get first this time around, and they're playing beautifully. Okay, no, but low percent combos for uh, for Venelik. I will say I'm really looking forward to possibly getting an inhale because Duck Hunt Kirby is one of the stupidest Kirbys, and I love it. Also, it's really big because he gets access to can, which is, I mean, it's a defining part of... Oh, try to get for the Trump. But it's but it's a defining part of Duck Hunt's kit. So, of course, it's also going to be, uh, you know, if, if Kirby manages to get access to it, especially if the Kirby knows how to use it, it can be massive. This stage of the game, Zane is looking pretty dang healthy. Only at 119 on his first stock, whereas Venelik already eating about 83. Those neutral there's not even enough to do it. I think it might have been an up air actually, but Zane 153% and looking fine. So long everyone, Bunel's coming in. Hello everyone, it's me, I'm back. So Zane up uh, a stock right now, as it seems. Um, and I, I will say one thing about this matchup as I am just coming in to commentate, so I haven't seen the matchups up so far. Um, Kirby notoriously does uh, struggle with these zoner type builds. Um, really has trouble getting in on a lot of them. Um, but uh, with that first stock being taken, um, Vinalik, finally, doing really well so far, and uh, at least trying to keep up at this point, but down throw can, so good. Uh, and Zayn has those confirms on lock. Yeah, not only is it difficult for Kirby to, you know, get in on the zoner, but once he does, can is frame one. We see that Zane just throws out Can, breaks whatever, you know, schnasty combo Venelik was looking to get done. And, oh, look at all of the damage already that he ta he's taken. Yeah, and it is one of those things where Kirby is a combo character. and But the thing is, like, a lot of these combos do have those one-frame gaps, um, which most characters don't have an option for, as you mentioned. But Duck Hunt, of course, does. Um, actually has two options. Side B comes out frame one as well. At least the, the Hurt Box does. So you can start pressing B afterward. Little known Zane fact. Um, but yeah, uh, so it, it, it really is a struggle for Kirby because not only do you have to deal with the zoning, which is tough enough as is, um, Duck and Haz get out of jail for free cards that kill Kirby fairly early, uh, even on a trade. Not only that, but despite, you know, the fact that Kirby, you know, one of the best attributes about the character is his small size, Zane is more than, you know, adapting to... Yeah, more than adapting to how to hit him regardless. Whether it's, you know, throwing him off the air and juggling him and catching with up airs like that, or when he spawns a can, he's been going for, like, a lot of forward tilts. These yeah. very low-angled trajectories that doesn't matter how low you crouch, you're still going to get clipped by the can. Yeah, and forward tilt and down tilt, two really good tools for Duck Hunt in this matchup. Um, ooh, excellent spike on the two-frame right there by Zane. Um, I don't think it was because Kirby Yeah, Kirby can't yeah, snap. Yeah. So, yeah, but it's, 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 it is it's it is an excellent ledge guard right there. Um, um, obviously, that down air is super duper good. Oh, we're going long. Not only that, but the best part about uh, Duck Hunt down air, by the way, the landing lag animation, mm -hmm. top five animations in the entire game. And he's this they're is true. actually going link. Down air, down air and nair both have excellent uh, landing animations. Uh, Smash 4 taught us that. Because um, move, those moves had a lot more lag on the floor in that game. Um, but, uh, yeah, the link is out. Obviously, this matchup is a little bit easier for Kirby, I would say. Um, obviously, swords are an issue for Kirby, as always. But um, there are more ways to get in on this character. Link, a zoner for sure, but not as a, uh, I would say, as a heavy zoner as the Duck Hunt. Not only that, but, like, the fact that Kirby is small means is a lot more effective for... Uh, uh, is a lot more effective against Link because you know he, you know his sword moves. They kind of hit high, you know, yeah. forward air, you know, back air. Yeah, even, certainly. You know? Duck is uh, duck. I should, by, by duck, I mean not duck hunt, but Kirby's duck uh, down press is really good against um, is really good against characters like Link that do have a lot of those high hit boxes or characters at the space aerials at a certain height. Um, where like Kirby cannot, not only is it helpful to just get out of the way of those moves, it's helpful to react to those moves because you have more, a little bit more time to. So Kirby, yeah. I think, should be utilizing Duck a lot in this matchup, especially because Link has fairly slow aerials overall. Not only that, but don't forget, down tilt is basically Duck with a hitbox. 
Yeah, like this, as we're seeing right this there. This is true. Ooh, that is a tougher move to punish than you would think. Uh, you see Kirby up being in neutral, like, oh, it's my turn now. And it's sometimes not. Um, because of the projectile hitting your shield, or even if you jump over the projectile, that move does not have a whole lot of lag. Ooh, excellent Z-Drop out of shield right there by Zane. Doesn't quite get the stock, um, but still looking pretty good at this ledge trap position, even though down a stock. Oh, we mashed. We love it. <laughs> that move is actually... Oh, are you dead? No, are you dead? <laughs> the reversal looking kind of clean. It was the bait. Yeah. Got a little bit of damage, but since I'm training for sense here, you, uh, Kirby, of course, um, no shock here that we go into a big stage, um, a flat stage, I should say. Kirby does like it when you cannot run away from him on platforms. Um, but uh, well, again, one of those things that Kirby does really have a lot of trouble uh, dealing with is these big hitboxes. And Link has a lot of them, and Zane has been doing an excellent job thus far of kind of utilizing those, boxing Kirby out. Nice little down to them to grab right there by uh, Vinalik here. Ooh, and a Trump back air. Super good. One of Kirby's best tools there, yeah. Trump back air. Now, hopefully, you know, this game is honestly looking really good for Venelik, and I hope it's not the sort of thing where Zane really regrets going the link for game two. Because, oh! oh Boomerang saved the day. Would have been a nice bit of percent right there for Venelik. Um, not only that, but save percent and stage position. Ooh, Donald on block gets up beat immediately. Um, I wonder if... I feel like he maybe could have shielded. I think he picked a non-shielding yeah. option after that down tilt. Because otherwise, that's actually yeah. huge. <laughs> if, if he cannot freely down tilt on a uh, shield. Ooh, we're trying to use that bomb, I think, there as well. Like, extended hurt box, trying to catch maybe an air dodge down. Um, didn't end up working out for Vinalik. But, uh, ooh, now this is Lincoln advantage. Ooh, no tech, that's it. Death. Footstool up. Oh. Yeah, scary situation. I don't want a footstool, Link. You never know. What if the back hit of Uppy hits you and then you die? You don't Inhale want to him. Do well. That, I mean, also could end up in death. We don't want to see it. Because if you don't mash, Kirby just dies first with inhale. This is true. Um, however, I think we're going to see the Duckling come back out. Uh, unless we're really trying to work with, out with the Link today. Which I know Zane is. I mean, Zane is, Zane is trying to move uh, from Duck Hunt to Link and Diddy Kong. Um, I don't think we've seen much of the Diddy today. But we've certainly seen a decent amount of the Link. Um, and the character is really good. Yeah. I can see why uh, they've moved from that. Even though Duckin is a very good character in their own right, uh, Link, I would say, a tiny bit better. Um, yeah, I, I will say that it feels like Duck Hunt complements Zane's playstyle very well. That being Zane's playstyle, having 6 billion IQ. Yeah. So. Yeah, and certainly Link, you, ha you have those options as well. But, um, like, kinda, it's, it, I know Can is technically not an item, but it, it, it is very reminiscent of item play in general um, and how you utilize Can. I think Zane is just kind of a um, connoisseur of those items, um, and they're really, really good overall. That move just barely whipped the up oh coming gosh. from the back. And, you know, the first time these two played in game one, it Ooh. was decisively in Zane's favor, but all of a sudden, shocked. the can did not trade. Ooh, yeah, really good. Um, oh, can right there. That was right what you were saying yeah. about the clay pigeon coming out frame one. Yeah, so on, that was on those weak moves, on those moves that don't have a lot of stun to combo with. Clay pigeon is going to come out and get give Zane a true combo. All right, completely even in percent right mm -hmm. now. Ooh, but nice dash attack. That burst option, really good for Kirby. Um, and not as much lag as that move uh, looks like it should have. Um, oh, missed the oh. neutral get up punish, and we're taking damage. Oh, I like the idea of down B, but ends up getting punished. No. Not no. super duper hard, though, and still only a 20% gap. Kirby didn't get the grab there. Make most of that percent back with the down throw. Now in the corner is Zane. Wow. Trouble. Kirby actually has decent ledge traps because of that bear, of course, being so good on, at catching jumps. Yeah. <gasps> oh, we're dead. Ooh. Oh, you saved them. Oh, no, never mind. You, you died. That's funny. That was actually <laughs> brilliant from Vinalek. And all of a sudden, despite how that game I mean, one looked like it was an absolute just... Zane was dead. Decisive. <laughs> yeah, that was so decisive. Now let's see if he can get one of those low percent combos. Okay, that's big. Oh, back here, actually. Just enough. That's going to take the stock. Yeah. I always you forget, you have, to, you have to rar that move yeah. for to actually kill, because yeah. fair never kills. Yeah, exactly. If that, if, if the good way to tell the difference between forward air and back air is if it actually killed or not. Yeah. Because <laughs> similar looking moves, for sure. Uh, but now Zane with a little bit of a lead. First time, really, uh, in this set that there's been a lead of any amount of substantial percent. Up being away, that's great by Zane. Oh. Right on top of the can, too. You saw there. 
purposefully like, fast like fall snake with grenades. Yeah, purposely fast fall on the can to have a uh, explosive on block. It's death. What you was that combo? Was no, you die, no, you die there. You did. You, you can't. You can't di clay pigeon. It doesn't send you in a tumble. That was up there though. Oh, the up there. You just die. The move kills. Look, he's at a hundred. One. Oh right, I forgot two. how much damage clay pigeon yeah. does. It was, it was, it was, mean, he was a one ten yeah, already in that mid screen. Up, yeah, you die. You die. Yeah, but Venelik doing. Honestly, it's pretty so well. Close. All considering, guaranteed ninth as is.